Ghanaian born author and publisher Kadmil van der Puige is the chief executive of the Voice of Africa Media. His newspaper, The Voice of Africa, amplifies Africans worldwide. He also runs the Father's Haven Children's Home in Kenya. He joins me in the studio to tell us more. Kadmil, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me, Esther. First of all, what prompted this publication, The Voice of Africa? So The Voice of Africa was actually founded by my father. Um, Dr. Kinsley Van der Poy, um, in efforts to change the narrative of Africa and the media. And what, what's the most sought after content by the African diaspora here in the, this, the Washington DC area? Right, so we currently have two different type of audiences that we market to. Um, our newspaper is targeted more so to you know, age demographics from 35, you know, 65 and up. With them, they're looking for more so, you know, news that's going on in the continent, so they still have a feel, you know, being back home. Um, we also have a digital platform, which is targeted at age 16 to 30, and, you know, they like more so entertainment, so we deal a lot with celebrities and, you know, artists in that manner. How are you able to fund the paper? Do you have ads, you know, people placing the ads within the paper, or how do you fund it? Right, so currently it's, um, it's a passion that, you know, the family has, so we do fund it ourselves, but we have the help of some companies that we work with um, through advertisements to help us fund it. Now let's turn to the orphanage that you run in Kenya. Why Kenya? You're from Ghana, and yeah. how many children are you taking care of in this orphanage? Right, so just to give a little background story, um, I am a son of two immigrants, and they're missionaries as well. Um, and they've always taught me the importance of giving back to our community. Um, my father moved to Kenya um, eight years ago, Kisi, Kenya, to you know, start a church. He then you know, met a man called Pastor Saganya, who had a family um, of four, but he had 35 orphans living with him. And you know, we, we took it upon ourselves, made our responsibility to make sure that those kids are you know, being, their basic needs are being met and then they're being set for the future. So do they go to formal schools and at what age do they leave the orphanage and go out and fend them for themselves as adults? Right, so yes, we do have our kids in formal school right now. Um, we have 35 kids, 34 of them, 31, sorry, are in public schools, but four of them are currently in private schools, getting ready for high school and transitioning to college. Uh, we just launched our program two years ago, so we haven't really had any kids transition from the orphanage because they're still you know, at the adolescence of mm -hmm. age right now. So who, who pays for their school fees? You know, in Kenya, you have to pay school fees. <laughs> right, so yeah. yeah, this program is funded um, as a church program and the Voice of Africa. So our church and the Voice of Africa and our family, you know, my, my dad, my mom, and my brother, are the ones who fund it. That's are you right planning now. to do more, opening more, uh, you know, children's homes across Africa, Ghana, or some other place? Of course, yes. Uh, my dad was an orphan himself, and you know, like I said before, you know, witnessing him and my mom giving back to the community has also you know, prompted my brother and I uh, with a goal to open up a children's home in each country in Africa and eventually want to expand to the entire world. Uh, so hopefully you know, we're able to make enough money you know, to do so. So uh, where exactly? I heard somebody say you were looking into Botswana right. and some other Southern African country? Yes, yeah, so we currently have. We just opened up one in Botswana, um, in Ghana as well, and Zambia. Uh, we have um, children's homes over there. Um, more projects or more you know, information on that will be announced shortly on thevoiceofafrica.com. But yeah, these are the countries we have as of right now.